Today we're going to talk about future-proofing your home with continuous insulation, siding job that could last 50, 75, maybe even 100 years. There's plenty of houses in the Boston area, including our barn project in Newton, with siding that old. So uh, let's take a walk and look at the details. So what are some of the benefits of exterior insulation? First off, increased overall thermal performance of the entire wall assembly. Cavity insulation is great but there's a problem with it. It's called thermal bridging. Heat transfer is always happening. It's always moving from hot to cold and it's pulling heat out of the house, not very effective. You can see here, every 16 inches, we've got these furring strips for our rain screen. These are directly screwed to the studs so they're structurally able to hold up the siding. But what the secret is here, this continuous insulation greatly increases the effective R value of the entire wall assembly. Second is durability. By installing the exterior insulation, we've moved our dew point outside of the wall cavity. Super beneficial because now the dew point is out here. We're not going to have mold and condensation issues. The homeowners are happy, they're healthy, and the frame of the house is also happy and healthy. It's going to last a lot longer. Third, it's comfort. So the increased R value from the exterior insulation, the entire wall assembly, Homeowners no longer experience hot and cold near a window or near an exterior wall. It's not drafty. It's nice and even temperature, and the added benefit is sound attenuation. The place is super quiet. They don't hear the traffic. They don't hear the airplanes buzzing overhead. So win-win all around. On this house, we're using rigid wood fiber insulation. This particular one's three inches thick. It's got an R value that's pushing 12, which is awesome. It is vapor open. We love vapor open. People need to breathe, but the house needs to dry. It's also carbon storing, made from recycled materials, environmentally friendly. It is water shedding. There's a paraffin wax embedded in this. So, you know, during the construction, if it rains, we're not absorbing water. And it's also fire resistant. It's borate treated. We could just light this up. We'll put a torch to it, it will not burn. It will smolder, it will blacken up, but it's not gonna burn, so it's class A fire rating. So that also helps with insects too. They don't like to eat this stuff, which is a huge benefit. The installers really like this. The tongue and groove profile really helps them speed up the process. It's a set of extra hands when they drop this in. It's not wanting to tip out and fall over. And another huge benefit, it's so dense and it's so flat that when we put these rain screen strips on, this wall is super flat. It keeps the siding. When you look at this wall, there's no wave to it. It's a great product from that perspective. So behind our wood fiber insulation, we've got our WRB. In this case, we've got Henry Blueskin VP100. So this maintains an airtight assembly around the entire perimeter of the house. By having our continuous air control layer behind our exterior insulation, this is solving for 99% of all the potential issues in the entire envelope. So the homeowner's happy and healthy and so isn't the house and it's, it's gonna last for many years to come. And what we've actually done here as an added benefit is we've got a pressure treated two by four in here, ripped to the thickness of the wood fiber insulation. This is for insects and rodents intrusions. So the blue skin's wrapped right under here and the homeowner in this particular case does not like mice in his house. So uh, we sorted this out for him and it works really well. A good siding job starts with a good rain screen, and a good rain screen takes a lot of thought and a lot of planning. So this particular material is Smart Side by LP, and the reason we like to use it, it's just consistent in its thickness and its width, so it makes our siding lay flatter on top of our wood fiber insulation. Moving below that, we do have our core vent artfully disguised under this water table. So there are intake vents there with bug screen. What that's doing, it's allowing the air to come in here so any moisture that's passing through the house, this rain screen allows that to dry and it also helps the siding dry. If any water should get in here, it dries and we maintain the life of the siding. And we've got a pretty special product up at the soffit. It's called Wildfire Defense. So there's a mesh screen up there and it's black so it disappears into the uh, color scheme of the house. This prevents wildfire sparks from being drawn into the overvented roof assembly. So it's effective and it's aesthetically pleasing. So the icing on the cake here is really the detail. So let's get into the aesthetics and the design. The client and the designer really wanted to make this house look like it was built in 1878, not 1978. So not only the color choices, but the actual details. So we'll start at the bottom. We've got a water table with a cap on it. This is just a little addition here that we wanted to do for a little more protection with this custom bent piece of flashing here. So, and then we've got Claymark siding. This is a great product. It's uh, FSC certified. It's harvested in New Zealand. It's been treated for uh, 
decay, mold, bugs, all that fun stuff. So great product. We really like it. It's being applied by hand with uh, stainless steel nails. We're not using a gun here. We just like to look better. Another benefit to the natural wood siding, expansion and contraction is greatly reduced as compared to synthetic siding. So that's another benefit here because what would happen typically, although our paint job will last 10 to 12 years, the typical caulking joint at the windows and the corner boards, that's what's gonna fail. Three, four years is junk, so it's, it's unsightly. So we have decided to tuck these in. We've padded out all our windows and our corner boards and we've tucked this in and the added benefit too, it helps with drainage. So as we work our way up, we've got a historic sill that's been applied. You can see the uh, diamond light Marvin windows here, which are really in keeping with the uh, overall design of the house. The trim is boral. It's very, very durable, bug resistant. It holds paint really well. This five quarter stock, the window trim, as well as the corner boards, when we go back and look at this from the street, it gives us a lot of shadowing, so it's in keeping with the designer's intent of making this house look old and having some more chunky uh, design elements in the corners and in the windows. When we padded this out to give us the, uh, the improved aesthetic we wanted, it caused a slight issue, but the designer being crafty, along with the homeowner with a keen eye for details, we bent up this piece of flashing. We're tucking this in here to the corner board, so when we're Having house guests at the front door, we look, we don't, we don't see any of the, the blue skin. You see nothing but a black inside corner. So, so it's all about the details here. Behind all of our well-crafted exteriors is a high performance home. And that's gonna keep the homeowners of the Sudbury Retrofit Project happy and healthy for years to come. Isn't that right, Hank? <laughs> all right. He's done with me. <laughs> Good job, Hank. Good job, buddy.